Hello. I have a story for you called Edward Gets Messy, written by Rita Mead and illustrated by Olga Stern. This is Edward. Edward is a particular pig. He likes things to be just so. He detests dirt. He fears filth. And Edward never gets messy. Each morning before school, Edward irons his perfectly clean clothes. He tidies his perfectly tidy room until there's not a speck of dust in sight. He vacuums his perfectly sparkling goldfish tank with a special underwater vacuum. Edward is very happy with being very clean, but it's hard work to stay that way. Edward never pets friendly dogs on the street. He never, ever eats food that spills or splatters. And he never, ever, ever uses markers or glue sticks or paint. They're just too messy. It sure isn't easy being a particular pig. On the way to school one morning, Edward's friends jump in a big pile of dirty leaves. But Edward doesn't get messy. He walks on the pavement. In Edward's science class, the baking soda volcano erupts into a spraying flow. Kaboom! But Edward doesn't get messy. He sits at the back of the class. Can you see him there? Where is he? He's hiding under the table. At lunchtime, everyone else at Edward's table eats spaghetti and meatballs. But Edward doesn't get messy. He eats a plate of steamed broccoli. On the muddy field outside, Edward's classmates play a game of baseball. But Edward doesn't get messy. He stays on the stands and watches his friends play. Edward has stayed clean most of the day. Now there's just one class left. The art teacher gives out paper and paint. But once again, Edward doesn't get messy. He spends his time organising the art supplies on the shelf. But something goes wrong. I think we've got a little clue over there about what's about to go wrong. What's going to happen? Pull up! Oh dear. Splat! Oh dear! To his surprise and his horror, and through no fault of his own, Edward gets messy. Look at all those colours. Edward's covered in the green. I don't think it's long before he's going to be covered in all of the colours. Edward is distraught. Edward is devastated. He's really, really upset. Edward doesn't know what to do. But wait. Hmm. What's he up to? Hmm. Look, he's making some beautiful artwork there. The next day at school, Edward helps the science teacher with her experiments. He's getting involved now. Out in the muddy baseball field, Edward hits a run and slides into second base. Go, Edward! And on the way home from school, he jumps into that big pile of leaves with his friends. Whee! Edward's no longer afraid to pet friendly dogs in the street or eat food that spills and splatters. And he happily uses glue sticks and markers and especially paint. Because now Edward knows that it's okay even for particular pigs to get messy. Because after all, they can always clean up afterwards. 
That's a good story, I like that one. Because I'm a bit of a messy pup myself. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>